Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up Ubuntu 18.10 in VirtualBox. To start off with, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to scroll down and click on download next to Ubuntu 18.10 and you now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, you now need to open up VirtualBox and click on new in the top left hand corner. You now need to give your virtual machine a name. I'm just going to call it Ubuntu 18.10 and go next. Make sure you have version selected. I'm going with 64 bit. You now need to select how much memory you would like to give your virtual machine. Ubuntu recommend that you have at least two gig, which would be 2048. All you need to do is times this number here, 1024, to how much memory you would like to use. 1024 meg is 1 gig. So if you times that by 2, then that would be 2 gig, and so on. I'm going to give my machine 2 gig, which is 2048. And you now need to go next. I always keep virtual hard disk selected. You now need to click create. And you now need to keep VDI selected and go next again. And we want to keep dynamically allocated selected and go next. Ubuntu recommend that you at least have 25 gig of hard drive space. So I'm going to change that to 25 gig. And you now need to press create. Once that's all finished, we can now make sure we have our machine selected and go on to settings. You now need to go down to system and we need to go across to processor. I'm just going to turn my processor up a bit to about four. Obviously, depending on what processor you have depends on what you can select. I'm also going to go across to acceleration and make sure everything's fine there, which it is. Right, I'm happy with all that. I'm now going to go down to display and turn the video memory up all the way to 128. And we now need to go down to storage and select this empty section here with a disk icon next to it. And we now need to go to the right hand side and select this disk here and go choose virtual optical disk file. You now need to select the Ubuntu file that you just downloaded from their website and go open. And we can now go OK. Once you have finished doing all that, we can now press start on our machine. Right, once everything has booted up, you should now have a screen that looks like this. You now need to click on install Ubuntu. And you now need to select your keyboard layout on UK. So I'm going to select UK. And you now need to go continue. We now need to make sure we have a normal installation selected and you can choose whether you want to download updates while installing. That's totally up to you. I'm actually going to select both these options here and we now need to go continue. And you now need to go install now. And we need to go continue again. You now need to select where you are in the world and then go continue. And we now need to give our machine or our login a username. I'm just going to call it computer sluggish like that. And you now need to give it a password. I'm just going to go like that and like that. And I always select login automatically. And we now need to go continue and it will begin to install Ubuntu 18.10 onto your virtual machine. Once the installation has finished, you now need to close down your virtual machine and go back to the VirtualBox Manager 
and click on your virtual machine. You now need to go back onto settings and you now need to go down to storage and just make sure your optical drive is empty and mine is. We can now hit OK and start up our virtual machine again. And there we go, that is how you install Ubuntu 18.10 in VirtualBox. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.